Now to our special series, Lifeline, and the remarkable bond of four sisters put to the test when one of them was diagnosed with an incurable disease. These sisters haven't just rallied around a loved one. They have put their lives on hold, given up everything to wage the fight of their lives. NBC's Bob Faw has their story. Jennifer Estes is imprisoned in a body that is slowly shutting down, dependent on others for even the task. To be candid, I mean, this is... It's a horrific situation. It just reminds me of being in jail, basically, for a crime that you haven't committed. She was only 35, a vibrant New York theatrical producer, when diagnosed years ago with ALS, Gehrig's disease. And when doctors told her there was no cure and no hope, Jennifer Estes told the doctors that verdict was simply unacceptable. I can't deny that I have this illness, but I can't accept that there's nothing that we can do about it. Instead of giving up, she and her three sisters, successful business professionals, are fighting back, starting Project ALS, run from Jennifer's New York City apartment. They don't just strategize. What is our goal? What is our financial goal? The sisters take their sales pitch to the boardrooms of corporate America. That's We're actually playing with the possibility of doing a video presentation. They've also tapped into Jennifer's theater contacts, many now Hollywood celebrities to raise nearly two and a half million dollars, giving the money to scientists, then holding them accountable. It's nothing for Valerie or Meredith or Jennifer to page me on my beeper any time of the day or night and say, uh, so what's the data look like? I, I have to say we are <laughs> terrific at cracking the whip. And I think what we've come to realize is when you bring this kind of personal effort to bear, science can move so quickly. Already, there are signs that Jennifer's pluckiness and her sister's persistence are paying off. For a change in labs from Baltimore to Boston, researchers are now collaborating and making rapid progress on cures because of the Estes sisters. That's all because of them. We've been able to complete research in six months that would normally take us two years to complete. For three career women who have put their professional lives on hold to help their sister, it's more, though, than a crusade. It is truly a love story. I mean, she's what we're all about. We're, we're as close. I mean, I don't think you could really get much closer. We're kind of one person. Uh, it's pretty much one heart. For now, Jennifer is holding her own, buoyed by the support of sisters, nieces, and nephews, bolstered, too, by Project ALS, which for her could literally mean life or death. We can obliterate it. It's an unnecessary evil. Is that what keeps you going, the fight? Yes, that is what keeps me going. I don't mean a false optimism, like, it's not about that. It's about saying yes when everybody says no. It may, they say, be too late for Jennifer, but it will not, they vow, be too late for others. Bob Fall, NBC News, New York. That is nightly news for this Wednesday. President Clinton will be...